nearly sat on Sky. <laughs> Hope you can see me. It is sunny, but it's starting to go a bit dark. And uh, what am I wearing today? I'm wearing my birthday suit. <laughs> well, no, it's not my birthday suit. It's my birthday dress. I actually didn't buy it for my birthday. I'm telling a lie. I bought it to go to um, a function. I think it was a wedding that I didn't end up going to. And I've never worn it, so I thought, right, drag the old dress out and put it on today. It's my birthday. Uh, one of the presents I got today was a fun present. It's a big foot slipper. If you've ever known, um, what's he called now? Oh God, I can't remember his name. Billy Connolly. He makes all these jokes about leaping about with big foot slippers on. But I actually have very cold feet, so I'll be very glad of that. Because my slippers. I don't know what I do to slippers, but I wear them on. I got another colour today in the Boho Signet. It wasn't for my birthday, it was just because I'd already ordered it. And I hope you can see the colours because they're rather beautiful. The sort of dark jewel colours. Again, I cannot tell you the colour number because it doesn't have one on it. It has a colour number, but it doesn't have a shade. It's, uh, hmm. 648, no, 6461, I think. Why do I never wear my glasses? Anyway, it's very pretty. It, there it is, it's got all the colours in it. I've got an excuse. It's not every day I'm 17, is it? What did I treat myself to? I treated myself to a new top. My usual style, well it isn't my usual style, my usual style is the long, long dresses. But I've gone on to wearing these shorter ones now, over the top of trousers or tights. The only thing missing with this is it's missing its belt. But I don't really wear a belt anyway, so that's not a problem, is it? And then, for the party season, not that I go to parties, but I do go to my family for Christmas sometimes. This is um, new to me, kaleidoscope. It's not often I buy new things, is it? And it's uh, a little black dress, as we say. But it's velvet, and I do love velvet. It's got like a, a waistband type of thing. And I do have some thick black tights that I can wear with. But I do love black so much. It doesn't suit me, so that's why I have to jazz it up with something bold, you know. Black and black. No, does not suit me. Well, I don't really have a lot to say to you. I thought that Sue might have arrived today, which is why I held on for the um, another video to make it. One nice thing I have got. Sorry if I'm going to make you a bit dizzy. I don't know whether you can. <laughs> see it or not? Can you see it next to the TV? It's shining in all different colours. It's uh, on top of the dog cage. It's uh, my son and daughter-in-law bought me that, along with the big slipper. Those are not my flowers, by the way. They are along to my daughter-in-law because her her birthday was on the twenty. Well, I do hope you can see me. I do feel as though I'm sitting in the dark again. Never mind. Well, I had to go upstairs. I had to go looking for something that I'd sold. I had to find it. So I've now found some other things that I'm going to be putting on um, on my Etsy. There's a nice hat there done in Sirdar. It's got a little flower that you can wear on the side. And I found some of my baby jackets. This one has a little hat to it. These will all be going on reduction. Nobody wants to buy them, so they're all going to be sold. It's got a bonnet to that somewhere. The snoring, by the way, is poppy today. This is a little set done in lemon. It's more a preemie size, this one. It's got a little hat to go with it. Uh, this is another 
set that has the little body attached to it. Mm -hmm. Oops, hooked upon the hook mm -hmm. of the hanger. Mm -hmm. So the trouble with crochet and putting on a hanger mm -hmm. as it gets a little bit fast up. Oh, there it goes. Mm -hmm. There you go. Anybody who's Irish, that's nice, isn't it? Paddy's land. <laughs> What have I got here? Oh, this is a knitted, actually, a knitted mm -hmm. big cowl. It obviously wants blocking again. It's uh, all over the place at the moment. Mm -hmm. That's the width of it. But it wants a block. There it is. Mm -hmm. It's big enough to go around your neck twice. Mm -hmm. I don't often knit, but uh, mm -hmm. I did knit that. Mm -hmm. This is already on on Etsy already this one. It's a mm -hmm. green top. That's already mm -hmm. there. I'm not sure, I think this has got a, a hat to go with it. It's a net warmer. Mm -hmm. I think it's got a hat. Mm -hmm. You have to keep your eyes open to see anything you like because mm -hmm. they'll be going on. Let's see if they're not already on. That's another little baby matinee with a little hat to match. Again, these are all going to be put on sale, but it may be after Christmas, I don't know exactly. This is already on, on Etsy. It's very pretty, but it turned out very small. It was um, Stephen Stephen West, did he pattern? Mm -hmm. Either that or a Stephen B, one of those two. And the pattern is lovely, it's done from the top down. And I thought this was super chunky when I was using it, but obviously it wasn't because it was supposed to be for me. <laughs> and as you can see, there's a vast difference between the size of that and the size of me. Um, I'm sure this has got a hat to go with it somewhere. It's a scarf. And this has never sold, although I do think it's so, so pretty. But I think it looks washed out on the um, on the Etsy shop. It's a very delicate turquoise in a, a very nice full shawl. But it looks rather pasty on Etsy. Um, this is a cotton mix dress all on top. Again, I think that would have been sold if it had been bigger. When I was making things, I was making them at first for um, the craft shop and they wanted small things and the small things didn't sell. This is just a, a neck warmer that goes across like that. Got little fringes on it. Got a lot to sort out, haven't I? And I do love that pattern. I think there's a bonnet with that. I think that is so sweet. My little pile is going to fall over at any moment. That's a bonnet belonging to one of the sets. <laughs> and that's another set that's got flounces on it. Obviously, modern mummies don't want flounces, but I think they're so sweet. If I'd have had a little girl, she would have been wearing things like that. Oh, that's the bonnet that goes with one of the little outfits as well. Oh, I was looking for that this morning. The belt to my dressing gown. This is another neck warmer with buttons on it. Nice colours, aren't they? This is the only one I've got left now. I had about six of these. But this one's the only one. It's sort of like a small stole or a very 
wide scarf. It's very, very long and it's done in a multitude of different textures of yarn. I had them in red, and green, purple, blue, I think. That's the only one I've got left. This is so pretty and yet it doesn't show up. It's a sparkle and it's a really nice mohair. And it's got mo uh, Lurex in it and it's black with greens and purples. And it's fastened with, it's got a, a rose on it. And it's fastened with the ties which have got little flowers on them. It's just a shoulder cape, but it's ever so pretty. But it doesn't sh again when I'm photographing them for Etsy they don't show and this is why I don't think they sell because the, the, the colours don't show and I'm not sure I think that one has a hat to it when I find it that's uh that was done in was it called Collinet or something one of those expensive fancy yarns it was anyway These, they are so, so soft. It's a cowl and it is such soft yarn. It's like velvet. I don't think that has a hat. I think that's just a cowl. And this one I do love as well. It's uh, obviously needs blocking because it's little flowers all over the place. It's a, a dual cow it's doubled over it's, that's the shape of it and it folds over and the, the rose can be worn sort of to the side way I think that's really pretty um, again this has got a hat to it somewhere but I don't know where it is it's got flowers on either end of the scarf This is just one of the bags I've got. Most of the garments are in another bag. Oh, that was so... Again, it's tiny. I think this would have sold if it wasn't so tiny. It's a um, vintage style. It's done in the, uh, you know, stranded crochet. Again, it needs a block because it's got points at the bottom, which aren't showing very well. Um, this is a cowl, I'm not sure how it fastens, <laughs> it's got itself in a bit of a knot up here, but it's a cowl anyway. I think it folds like that, folds across. I think that one comes with a hat, yes, with a hat. It's so soft, it's so fluffy, so soft. Everything is falling over the back. Oh yeah, that's the hat that goes with uh, one of the neck warmers that I showed you earlier on. It's just a plain hat. This is another of the cowls. And they're really, really fluffy, gorgeously soft yarn. Again, it's a doubled up one. So soft, yeah, they're so lovely. You should have a be able to feel a vision, shouldn't you be able to feel things when you're advertising them? And this again is so pretty. It's a cowl that just fastens down, I think, some way or another. Again, you can't really see because it's the way it's all round, but that's the cowl anyway. But this has got little speckles of lurex in it. And it's so pretty, the yarn, so pretty. But again, when I put it on that seat, it just looks like it's a flag. We're nearly at the end now, you'd be glad to know. Oh, that's a little bonnet that went with a little coat that was trimmed with lilac. That's <laughs> supposed to stick up. But it's been in the bag and it's flattened down. <laughs> See, the trouble I had to shove everything in the bag so this is where they've all been this is another cowl lovely fluffy 
yarn it's got buttons down the front of it or down the side of it whichever way you put it on and this again is so gorgeously soft really really soft I think we're nearly at the end now oh that's the hat that goes with the scarf that had the flowers embroidered on it just a little beely wouldn't be me if it didn't have flowers I tend to want to put flowers on everything but I don't stop myself because I think people don't always want a flower and oh yeah that's the hat that goes with the collinet scarf really pretty colours it's got a, a flower and a button on it and then I've just got two hats that are virtually the same oh no they're not the same I beg your pardon that's just a beanie it's got a flower on it with a button in the centre. Done in super, super thick yarn. And then this one has, it's sort of like almost a, a cap, you know, with the piece across, buttons. And that, oh no, go so that's it. We've just got one left now in here. And this is a little baby's. Baby's hat, done in red and white. Nice for the Christmas. But they say summer then. I don't know where my brain is today. Summer. <laughs> well, that's that lot in that one bag. The only reason you're seeing that is today is because I had to, yesterday, find the hat and scarf set that I sold. And thankfully, it wasn't yesterday, I tell a lie, it was the day before. But thankfully it was in the first bag I looked in. I've got about another two or three bags of it like this. Full of shawls and everything else. You name it, I've got to do it. I need to do a huge, huge sale. It isn't as easy as you think though. You've got to pick a nice sunny day and dress the mannequin or dress the head, you know, and everything. Take nice photographs of it from every angle. Then you've got to list it, write the sizes down and everything. I need a secretary. I do, really. You live near me and you're good at photographing things and writing things down. Can you let me know? I can't pay you. <laughs> you would have to do it for the love of me. If I was selling all these things, I might be able to pay somebody. <laughs> So unfortunately, I make more things than I sell, <laughs> which is very sad. If you wonder what's in the corner, by the way, it's a little lilac pram with a hood thing on it. Look, my sister, uh, sister-in-law, no, it's not my sister-in-law. My daughter-in-law bought it um, for one of the children. And then she discovered that somebody else had already bought them one. So that's kind of surplus to requirements and it'll be being sold. I haven't finished the cardigan, you know, with the cream cardigan I was redoing with brown buttons and everything. Haven't finished that off yet. Um, I find it so handicapping not having a table. You know, there's no room for me to put my table up. I usually spread everything flat, you know, to make sure I get the buttons level and the patterns straight. I hate it when I see people with buttons, you know, and the patterns not lining up, you know. I need to lie things flat to lie buttons up. I'm a bit of a fanatic about things like that. You know, there's patterns with colours and they've got to lie at the front, you know, with the bandages. And the bands have got to be level. You can't have one band bigger than the other because I have to pull it back. I'm not OCD. I'm just... Things like that just draw my eye. I, think, I see things for sale or in the shops or on Etsy or whatever, and the first thing I do is I look at them and think, oh, they've not lined it up properly, or they've not put the buttons on right, you know? And I want to rip it off them and sew the buttons back on again, in a straight line. You know, the buttons can be like that on some people's things. Anyway, so, oh, my sparkly's looking more sparkly now, the darker it's going. And I've got the beautiful sky here next to me. Gigi's asleep on the chair. He's discovered that he likes my cushion when it's bent over double. 
So he's fast asleep on there. Poppy's fast asleep on the floor snoring. And I've got the beautiful sky on. Mind you, I had a bit of a shock this morning. The dogs do not go upstairs. You know, Gigi does, he follows me everywhere. But I turned around, I got upstairs to get dressed this morning and I turned around and Poppy was behind me. She never goes up the stairs. She went round the bedroom because she'd never been in my bedroom before. Had a good sniff round, a good look round, before she came back downstairs again. Yes. And it's been quite an eventful day with the doorbell going, you know. Postman bringing me cards and then he brought me things that I'd ordered uh, that had came and uh, what else did he bring? Um, he came three times. Don't know what he brought the third time. As my mother used to say, if you can't remember it, it must be a lie. <laughs> well, that used to annoy me when I was little because I knew I wasn't lying, you know. I used to say, I've got something to say and I can't remember it. Must be a lie then, she used to say. No, it's not a lie, Mum. I just can't remember what it's supposed to be. So I'm supposed to tell you. So I know the doorbell went three times today. And for once I wasn't actually in the shower. That makes a good change, doesn't it? Well, it's going darker and darker and darker. So I hope you liked my impromptu show. <laughs> You'll see them better when I take photographs and put them on Etsy. Don't know when that will be. As I said, I'm very, very bad at that. Can you run round with your camera and just do it for me? <laughs> it is my birthday, after all. You could do it as a treat, couldn't you? You could say, right, I'll come and do it for you. <laughs> yeah, here's my baba. So where I am all dressed up with nowhere to go, are we, Poppy? But I thought, no, I'm going to get dressed up. I've never actually ever worn this dress before. I'm sure I bought it from a wedding that I finished up being ill. Not going to. <laughs> Sounds right for me, doesn't it? I'm feeling a bit uh, today. So that's why I'm dressed up brightly and trying to myself up. No, I'm not ill or such. It's just I've got a bit of tummy ache, which the rest of the family's got as well, so I think it's a virus. And um, my hip is still hurting from when I walked around uh, Ikea. So I've still got my Ikea voucher to spend. I've now got a voucher from Arts and Spencers. That's another store in the UK to spend. And uh, my eldest niece bought me a pair of lovely pair of black trousers, which is what I'd asked her for. You know, a nice pair of what I call going out trousers, you know, the good quality ones with the creases down the front and everything. Posh ones. <laughs> I like one pair of posh ones. Because with a pair of black trousers you can, you know, wear them with anything, can't you? The staple part of anybody's wardrobe. The little black dress and black trousers and a black skirt. You can't afford anything else, just make sure you've got those in your wardrobe and then you can wear anything you like over the top. You know. You can even wear a sweatshirt with your black pants. You can wear anything, you know. Just, I think black is just such a stable colour. But as you can see, next to my face, it just doesn't do an awful lot for me. But don't worry, I shall wear jazzy beads or a jazzy jacket or something. I'll wear with that. There was an absolutely beautiful jacket on eBay. Gorgeous it was. It was velvet and it was shades of like maroons and greens and blues, like a long, long jacket. But I'd marked it to watch it, but the bidding went up to £31 and I thought, no, well out of my budget. I wouldn't want to pay £31 for anything new, you know, and this was somebody's second hand one. It was so beautiful though. I was like, oh, it is pretty though, it really is pretty though. And then you you sort of do the argument, don't you? You can't afford it, so what are you looking at it for? Yeah, but it's so pretty, isn't it? Yes, but when would you wear it? Well, I'd wear it. No, you wouldn't wear it during the day. You wouldn't wear it at all. You'd wear it when you were going out, and how often do you go out? 
I have these little arguments with myself, you know, to talk myself out of it. But I still went back this morning to have another look at it and I thought, no, stop looking. I think it gets, uh, the bidding ends I think today, so I'll be glad when it's gone and then I can't look at it anymore. But, you know, I do like pretty things. Oh, my little flowers are looking so pretty now. I'll show you one more time before I say goodbye. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy, but I don't know whether you can see them or not. I can see them really changing colours. It looks lighter on the camera, but that's so sweet. <laughs> yeah, I like my picture. That reminds me of a sunset when I went to Greece to the Skiathos. It was very much like that as a, at the sea. And then those in the corner, there's a fake flowers. And then these here are real ones, but they're my daughter-in-law's. Yeah. So, oops a daisy. <laughs> I do hope I didn't make you all giddy. And I do hope you can still see me. Sorry if it's dark. I'm going to go now anyway. I'm going to start knitting my niece's sweater because it's going to take me a long time. Knitting an adult sweater before Christmas. So I'll start that. Mm. I've got to make a, a white cardigan for an order, but that's crochet, so that won't take me as long. Mm. But I haven't found the patterns to show her yet, so she can choose. Mm. Yeah. Now, some of my lovely friends on YouTube that have been saying hello to me and everything have been poorly. I won't name all your names, because there's quite a few of you who've been poorly and been in hospital and different things. So I do hope that you're feeling much, much better. And that if you're in the uh, US that you had a nice Thanksgiving and everything went well and nobody burned the turkey. <laughs> of course, we don't celebrate it in the UK, so it was just another day to us. But, um, and I'm sorry to the lady who says she goes to sleep when the dogs are snoring because Poppy's really, really snoring. <laughs> oh dear. I've got to get a move on with this knitting and this crocheting because there's only, what, about four weeks to Christmas? But as usual, I'm not ready. I don't know why I'm so surprised because I'm never ready. Never ready for Christmas. Each year I tell myself I'll start early enough. Each year I'll say I'm going to crochet on a nativity scene. And I never do. Or buy a nativity scene, because my nativity scene dates before me. And unfortunately, you know, the sheep have lost their legs and you know, different things happened. And we had to buy a new baby Jesus and he turns out to be bigger than his mum and dad, you know. <laughs> because we, we unfortunately had a fire with the stable one year when I was tiny. We'd put cotton wool on top of the stable to make it snow in. And we had little candles, and I insisted on having these little candles lit. And of course, the cotton wool caught fire. And the little baby Jesus was lay on straw, and he was made of wax. So I'm very, very sorry, but I melted baby Jesus. I was so upset. My mum went and bought me a new one, but of course he was a very chubby, 12-month-old looking baby Jesus. <laughs> really out of proportion with his mum and dad. So maybe one day I'll get a new, new nativity. Although I'm very sentimental, you know, about the old things. I mean, the, the stable went long ago because it was only made of cardboard and it just fell apart. But and the candlesticks went a long time ago. Little tiny brass candlesticks. It's funny how things stick in your memory. I used to love getting that crib out, you know, the, decorated it every year with cotton wool to make the snow, sprinkle some little sprinkles on top of it, you know, to make it glitter. I used to love doing that and decorating the Christmas tree. It wasn't a real tree, it was the same old ratty old tree that came out year upon year. And every year there'd be less and less bobbles because they'd be made out of glass. You know, they were very, very nice and very sparkly, but every year one or two would break. 
and um, so we'd have less bubbles on it each year. <laughs> and the tree got more and more threadbare with every year that passed. But my mum would buy me some tinsel so the sack could wind it round the ball bits, you know. <laughs> That's half the fun of Christmas. These people who buy a new tree every year that's colour coordinated with all the lights and the bubbles and then next year they throw it all away and they buy another one with all different colours. You know, one year it's a blue tree, one year it's a silver tree. That's not me. I've got a little tree from last year that Amy, Woolly World Create, Woolly World, Amy's Woolly World of Creations, Amy sent me from Ireland. So that will come down again. I'll probably bring it down when the, uh, the family are not here. It's just a nice little tiny tree that just fits on my little coffee table. So It has its little fairy lights on. So we have that, don't we kids? Yeah. I don't bother with the rest of the house. I don't decorate much else. Although I've got my glittering flowers, haven't I now, to, to twinkle away there. And I really must find the crib. I have no idea where I put it. I like my nativity. Yeah, I'm not overly religious, but you know, I do like Christmas to be about the nativity and the old fashioned things, yeah. That's what I do like about Christmas. And upon that note, I think I will make myself a celebratory drink of coffee. <laughs> I do actually have a bottle of Buck's Fizz, which is like poor man's Buck's Fizz, you know, it's not real champagne or anything like that. <laughs> but I like it, it's very vaguely alcoholic, you know, they sort of wave the alcohol over it, but I like it better actually. I'm not a great big drinker. It's same with wine, I like the cheap sparkly wine, you know, the kind that's, you get a bucket full for about a pound, you know. I love that sort of thing. I'm just not a connoisseur. If you bought me a really, really expensive bottle of wine, I'd probably give it away, because it would be wasted on me. I used to save them um, before we bought me expensive bottles of wine and take them to my family for Christmas. And not as a present, just to take them along as part of the uh, Christmas dinner. But then we stopped drinking wine because I think I told you my brother was alcoholic. We, we didn't find out for years. So we decided we'd stop having wine on Christmas Day because he gets a little bit trolled, you know, and uh, disappear and then it would ruin it for the kiddies because they wanted Grandad to be there while they opened their parcels and of course Grandad would be falling asleep by then. <laughs> This is Sky. If you can't see her, you see my arms moving, I'm just stroking Sky. It's not often she gets in on the act, is it? She's very much a dog that walks on her own, you know, don't touch me, I'm... But ever so occasionally, more so recently, she's warmed up to me. And she wants me to stroke her and that. I think it's since the family have started going doing the house up. She's been on her own with me. Well, not on her own. She's got a sister here and, and Gigi. But, um, you know, I think I'm any port in a storm, you know. I'm better than nobody. <laughs> right, I really am going and I hope you can still see me. I did put the lights on behind me, but... If I put the big light on, it goes down the centre of the mirror and you can't see me because there's a big line down the middle. So, oh, those flowers are so pretty now. I didn't realise it's got red in it and pinks and oranges and as well as silver glittery bits. The darker it's going outside, the prettier the, uh, the flowers are. <laughs> I'm going to really enjoy them tonight when it's dark. Anyway, thank you all for your birthday wishes. I've replied to some of you on Facebook, but not everyone. So I've had a few hours so far, I won't get round to you, don't worry about it. I just didn't want to spend the whole of the day on Facebook. I did have other things to do which I've not done. I'm so... What do you put it? 
I procrastinate oh. too much. That's what I do. Instead of saying, right, get to it. Go to it. Make your mind up. Get up in the morning and do it. I'm like, well, I'll just have a cup of coffee first and then, oh, well, I need to wash these dishes before the family comes home because they're all in the sink at the moment. And then I spent half an hour or more looking for a pattern for my niece for a sweater. I'd wanted a plain one. You'd think it would be easy to find, wouldn't you? But I don't knit on circular needles and nearly all the modern ones on Ravelry are all done in the round, you know. And I just don't. Oh, Sky, you're mucky. I've got mucky hands now. You're a mucky pup, Sky. Where have you been? Oh, I know. She went to the house when they were doing it up, didn't she, the other day? And she was laying on the floor, so that's probably why she's got it. She's mucky. You're a mucky pup, Sky. Poppy's sending me to sleep. <laughs> I just feel like going to sleep with her. <laughs> Right, I'm going. I'm going to have a cup of coffee and try and wake myself up. So thank you everybody for my birthday wishes and I hope you're having a good day. Bye now.